up you guys and welcome again to the channel my name is king inc and thank you so much you guys for coming back to the channel if you're new here welcome if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button because that will grant you access to being part of the curiosity crew we're here all about investing in curiosity that's what ink stands for whatever whatever i've had that name for a while since middle school it's just my artist name but coincidentally it stands for invest in curiosity that's what i said but anyways we're all about just doing something different every single day um just to you know try new stuff so today it's gonna be a little simple munchy review that's what i call my little food review snack reviews and i'm bringing back the crown i finally found it again um uh, but yeah today i'm gonna be trying this energy drink e-dragon e-dragon with ginseng it's an energy drink um i'm gonna see how much caffeine is in this because i definitely would have to like pace myself let me make sure there's not like fucking kratom in this shit because some of these just be having the the wildest ass ingredients and i'm like what the hell mm, okay okay regular warnings where the caffeine at where the caffeine at how much caffeine hello is it not gonna tell me how much caffeine is in here Vitamin C, vitamin B, niacin, riboflavin. Vitamin C. Bro, I literally cannot find the caffeine content in this. Hold on, hold on. I sadly have no idea uh, what the caffeine content is on here. I've read every single word on here, top, bottom, everything. And I just cannot tell how much caffeine is in this. I'm going to give you guys a little scan right here so that you guys know I'm not lying. But I do not see it anywhere. So honestly, that's like the first red flag for me. But I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm not going to have like hella of it. I'm going to leave the rest at home. But I do have like another shift today. I got a double shift today. So I'm going to get that bread. But immediately off the bat, this smells like a Red Bull smells like a red bull it's got that like tropical citrusy like smell going on like very very powerful like if i could have this in a candle that would be amazing i feel like ginseng already has like its own little like floral herby type smell plus the taurine i'm gonna go ahead and just get going with this e-dragon with ginseng i really like the dragons on it but i definitely want to make sure um Make sure you guys put the caffeine content on here because I gotta calculate that shit. But anyways, cheers you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Fruity. Pretty good. Very tart, very sour. You taste the taurine a little bit. It definitely gives more tea with a refresher vibe. It's very like candied. It tastes like a little bit of like a melted Jolly Rancher with a melted Sour Patch Kid. But like the watermelon kind maybe? This gives a little bit like watermelon. It's like a, a soft pink or red fruit type artificial candy flavor. It's good. It's not like crazy sweet. But it definitely gives like, like, melted slushy, or melted Jolly Rancher. It's not too bad. Definitely cold is gonna be way better. But it's been kind of cold over here. Very breezy. We got the fans going and everything. So like, honestly, this is a pretty good temperature for now. Um, this is a big can. It does say that the serving size is a full can. So. Technically, there is no issue there, but, but, I don't want to be bouncing off the walls and have my fucking heart exploding on a right chest, um, because I didn't read how much is in here. I know usually these are, like, what? I've hit, like, 300 milligrams in one. So I'm going to pace myself and just have half. I'll probably take the rest later for work because I have a three-hour shift coming up, so there's that. <coughs> wrong pipe wrong pipe sorry guys but my review let's see on e-dragon i would rate this 
I think I'll rate it like a 6 out of 10. Like, it's still like good, above average, it'd be good, but I don't think it would be something that I'd be reaching for. I think definitely the main call is going to be the packaging, it's going to be the dragons right there. Um, I like the little red tab up top. The flavor is really, really good. You guys really have the flavor spot on on that. I like it. Um, I think just for comfort's sake, what really threw me off is just not seeing how much caffeine is in here. Um, I'm not sure if because... I think this was like an imported snack, so I don't know how the regulation works on actually mentioning how much caffeine is on something, because don't get me wrong, I know that the world does not revolve around the US, but I have only had the chance to be here, so as far as I know, a lot all the energy drinks are going to be saying how much caffeine content is in here, so that's the only drawback, so I don't know if maybe like regulation wise it's going to be different overseas, but still really really tasty really flavorful very fruity tropical bright fresh it doesn't have like a medicine aftertaste or anything and even then the taurine taste isn't kind of there so if i'm going to compare it to anything it definitely just tastes like a classic red bull classic red bull right here but like in big so that's going to be it for today you guys thank you so much you guys for watching make sure to check out all the links down below and follow me on all my social media because I do post everywhere every single day. Thank you so much, you guys, for your patience and understanding because a lot of rough shit has been going on this October. And I'm just trying to lock in. Lock in. I woke up today at 5 a.m. because I had written down my shift wrong. I thought it was a closing shift, but it was actually starting at 5. So I was like... 5 a.m. So I was like, oh, holy shit. Thankfully, I had enough time to get some sleep, but it was kind of weird. But I know I had literally been rummaging in my brain saying, oh my gosh, I need to just say fuck it and wake up at 5 a.m. It doesn't matter if I'm just up at 5 a.m. doing some of my hobbies, doing some of my crafts. At least if I'm filling up the time with things that I'm doing, first of all, I'll finish a lot of work in progress projects that I have. Because I had read somewhere that somebody said that if you have a lot of work in progress projects, it just builds up a lot more anxiety and i'm not gonna lie i'm already chewing on a big 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 mouthful of anxiety consistently every single day and for some reason every time i go to sleep at night and before i even get there the second that the sun starts fucking setting i suddenly feel like the fucking big curtains at the end of the act are fucking closing in on me and i can't handle that shit all right like it's on some doom shit okay like I'm safe, but mentally, the worms are getting a little bit loud and disrespectful, and I don't like that shit, because I'm just trying to enjoy my day. Like, I don't think I should feel like I'm about to perish and literally explode into the 16th layer just because I have a shift the next day. Like, it's really not that fucking serious. It's really not that fucking serious. Especially with the fact that I'm grateful to have a retail job. I know that sounds kind of fucking, like, back and forth on it because the customers are on one. But, um, the discount is banger and it's retail. But, it's minimum wage. It's minimum wage. So, you can only get that far. So, we're working on it. We're working on it. Figuring it out. And, holy shit, my phone keeps trying to go to sleep. But, anyways, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for everybody new coming in. Thank you so much to my new followers over there on my TikTok. Thank you so much. I have surpassed 6,000 followers over there on my TikTok. This is really, really awesome. I know that I'm definitely just going to keep pushing and keep trying and keep trying new things. And I hope you guys have been enjoying Vlogtober. I know Vlogtober has been bringing a lot of people along, which is really awesome. So make sure to subscribe because I'm all about following my curiosity, doing something new each day that includes cooking some awesome food, cooking new recipes, trying new things, trying new foods, going to raves going to parties going to markets going to these random trade shows where i get cool freebies and i'm slowly but surely starting to partner up with some cool people to do some pr like literally up there you guys see the uh the miniverse pr box i'm gonna be doing that for you guys it's gonna be a whole series so thank you guys again it's been king inc i hope you guys have a great one and goodbye